Hello everyone. So in the last video, we've discussed about uh, how to write our first program in Java, which is Hello World. In the last video, I said that I'll discuss some of the topics later on. So we'll discuss all of these topics in this video. In this video, we're going to discuss about data types in Java. So let's get started. There are two types of data types in Java. One is a primitive data type where we can store only a single value. For example, uh, in the previous video, we have seen that int a equals 10. So inside a, we could only store one value. Well, there are ma many types of uh, primitive data and in non-primitive data, we can store more than one value. Let's not talk about non-primitive data right now. We'll talk about primitive data. In the primitive data type, we have three types of uh, types which is uh, integer type decimal type and the character type in the integer type we have byte short int and long see i've represented them with uh, you know byte with a small box short is a slightly bigger box int is more big and uh, long is a big, most bigger it is the most biggest box here it is because in byte we can store only one byte of uh, information in two by uh, in short we can store two bytes in int we can store uh, four bytes and in long we can store eight bytes if we look at the decimal type we have float and double decimal type is nothing but uh, any numbers like 17.5 18.35 or uh, for example pi 3.1428 uh, such kind of numbers you can store in the decimal type when we look at the character type we have boolean and car in boolean we can store only uh, two values that is true or false and in character type we can store any one of the character we'll look at this character type when we once open the eclipse ide so you might be wondering this one byte two bytes four bytes eight bytes how do we calculate them and uh, how will we know how much information can we store in them well uh, in order to understand this we need to understand the binary system well, binary system is nothing but two numbers that is 0 and 1. So in one bit, we can store 2 to the power 1 outcomes. 2 to the power 1 is 2. So we can store 0, 1. In two bits, we can store 2 to the power 2 outcomes that is 4 outcomes. In three bits, we can store 2 cube outcomes that is 8 outcomes. So from that, we can understand that in n bits, we can store 2 to the power n outcomes. Okay. Now, one byte consists of 8 bits. 8 bits is 2 to the power 8 outcomes. That is 256. 2, 2 to the power 8 is 256. So we should be able to store 0 to 256 outcomes. But no, we are only able to store minus 128 to plus 128 outcomes in one byte. So why is that happening? Now let's know why is that happening. Now, uh, this whole thing you consider as one byte. It has eight boxes. Each box is one bit. So eight bits, eight bits, uh, eight bits make up one byte. So in this, the first bit is called as the sign bit, sign bit, or the most significant bit, which uh, determines the sign of the uh, sign of the number sign of the number of outcomes well if we store one in the first bit the out uh, it will store all the numbers from negative and if you store zero in the uh, sign bit it is positive so if one box is occupied then there are seven boxes remaining seven boxes is two to the power seven outcomes which is 128 outcomes so from this we can understand that if you store one in the sign bit you can store uh, numbers from 0 to minus 128 all the negative numbers and if you store 0 in the sign bit you can store numbers from 0 to 128 so that is why uh, it was given that in a byte we can store numbers from minus 128 to 128 which is still 256 numbers now let us understand variables here it is given int grade equals 12 in the last video, I've told that I'll explain you this int part in the next one. So here, int is the data type. 
we have seen uh, in the previous uh, we have seen previously that in the integer type there are how many byte short int and long so int data type has four bytes of space and grade is a variable so uh, that is equal, uh, that equals 12 12 is the value so it is like uh, int you consider int as a box which has four bytes of space now you're naming that int as grade you just gave that uh, box a name called grade and you threw a value called 12 inside it so that is a, that is all about variable now let's open the eclipse id and let's see them in practical we opened the eclipse id now let's go to file go to new new we'll create a package called data data as we'll create a package called data as finish and then we'll go to file create a class called data types when we create a class we need to follow this name in convention called camel case i think i told you this in the last class where uh, the first uh, word will have small letter and from then on you will write the capital letter and public static void name finish in the last class i've told you that i'll explain you this uh, public static void main well here public represents public is an access modifier which uh, represents visibility so when we mention public so it is visible to everyone and everyone can access anything from this and here static uh, represents static is actually a keyword so if you write static here there is uh, there's no need to create uh, any sort of object in order to invoke the static void is the return type so if you write void here it doesn't return any value and main is the starting of the program so if you mention main here from there on the program starts so this is what public static void main uh, means so whenever you start the program you need to write this uh, compul uh, this method compulsorily and then on you need to start the program okay so now let us see what uh, int means in grade equals uh, 12 that is what we have taken before so here what is happening int is here int is a data type in uh, which has four bytes of space so int is uh, like a box which is having four bytes of space in, for that uh, you are naming that box as grade and you are throwing a value called 12 now if you want to print out something you need to press sys out control space i have told you this in the last class and then grade so it is showing 12 here that means when you uh, when we printed this thing it is going into the grade and is looking what is inside the grade oh this value called 12 is there and it is showing the value on the screen here called 12 now let us see what uh, boolean is for example boolean a equals true boolean b equals uh, false if i say sys out a true so it is nothing but inside boolean we can only store one va one value that is either true or false so you might be wondering where do we use this boolean thing boolean is actually used in comparisons mostly say and it is used in if else cases if else i'll explain you later but uh, let's see this simple example if a equals 12 not if int a equals 12 int uh, b equals 15 i ask sys out a is uh, sorry a is yeah a is greater than b 
now let's print this out it is showing false so what did it do it has compared the value of a and b so 12 is not greater than 15 so it is showing false uh, what if i write a equals 15 it is still false oh i'm sorry if you write a equals b then it is uh, not comparing it so it is actually making the value of this equals this so not for this case so if i show it this way see it is showing true because b is greater than a in the before thing what happened was when i wrote a equals b uh, what it simply did was it uh, made the value of uh, a uh, b equal to a so that's why it showed 15 so in, in such cases this is useful now let us see the float data type float b equals 2.15 f so when we write something when we mention something in float uh, when you mention some number in flow, it is, it is always necessary to write uh, f after that. Okay, just remember that. So when we print this out, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't print anything out. Sys out b 2.15. Okay, and now let's look at double double is also very similar but uh, in order to store uh, some big numbers we use uh, you know big uh, decimal numbers we use double for example i take double d equals double value of pi value of pi i see there uh, when you are uh, naming when you're naming a variable it is very important to follow camel case here too see the first letter is small and the remaining words it is capital value of pi equals 3.142857 well i actually know the value of pi till here only if you know the value of pi more than this i call you a prodigy okay so value of pi Let's print this out. Ah, when we are writing double, you need not mention f after this. Okay. Value of pi, and let's print this out. Three point one four two eight five seven. Now let us see what char is. Char is nothing but uh, you could. Uh, how should I say that? Yeah character data type is something where you mention only a single character so if i say char b equals dollar symbol when you're mentioning character you need to mention them in single quotes okay now let's print it out oh i didn't print i'm always forgetting this They printed out uh, symbol. Yeah. So that is all about data types. Okay. In this video, we have discussed different data types in Java. The primitive data types in Java, that is integer data type, uh, decimal data type, and character data type. So if you have any suggestions regarding this video, or if you have any doubts regarding this video, then please comment in the comment section below or please do uh, ping me on my Instagram handle. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next one.